patriotic friends, our nation stands at a critical crossroads. When our founding fathers bequeathed us this nation, they bequeathed it on the basis of freedom for the American people and sovereignty of the American people, not the power of the government. We are in a dangerous circumstance right now, and some may say that that's an exaggeration, that the foundation of our freedom is not at stake, but it is. Anytime you spend, you borrow 40 cents of every dollar that government spends, you are endangering our freedom. Every time you tell us that you are racking up trillion dollar deficits, you are endangering our freedom. And every time you make deals in the back room and you buy off people in the cloakroom, and then against the will of the American people, you force those policies into our living rooms, you are endangering the American people. Get out of our doctor's offices. Get out of our businesses. We don't want you there. Now, there are those in the Congress who have bought into this status arrogance, but thank God for the Alan West and the Michelle Bachmans and the Mike Pence's of the world who are standing up with us. And they are standing up to say that our founders did not establish this nation that it might force the people to bow to the will of the government. They established it to force the government to bow to the will of the people. Now there are those right now who have been meeting and they have been conspiring as to what names they will call us. What they will say about us. But while they are figuring out what names to call us and how they can benefit politically from what they do, we are determined to benefit our nation for every citizen of this country. And I want to say to black Americans and Hispanic Americans, you belong here. This is your movement. We care about you. It is time that we said to Barack Obama and Harry Reid and the forces that have dragged this nation into the muck and the mire of fiscal disaster, it is about time the government bowed to the will of the American people. Enough is enough. Now, my friends, I just want to encourage you. These big spenders have their plans, but we also have our plans. They have decided that maybe if they call us names, maybe if they slander us, we will quit, we will stop. I want them to know right now, this movement is not about black and white, it's about red, white, and blue. They may think, they may think that if they call us names, if they slander us, that we will quit. But they make a grave mistake to underestimate our resolve. We are not backing down. We are not backing up. In the words of that old spiritual, we don't feel no ways tired. Come too far from where we started from. Nobody told us the road would be easy. But two years ago when this movement started, we knew we were going to continue all the way to victory. And we know he didn't bring us this far just to leave us. Just one final thing that the powers that be on the Capitol Hill need to understand. This nation was not built by government. This nation was built by the people. We sacrificed, we struggled, they bled, they died, they tried, they failed, they tried again. But they heard the spirit of George Washington say, fight on. You may be outnumbered, but fight on. It may look like victory is behind you, but fight on. Freedom is worth fighting for. Freedom is worth fighting for. Losing is not an option.